Hello everyone, it's Dragon Platinum here, and today we are back again with Plane Crazy. Now today we're going to be making another plane, and this plane is actually going to be a luxury airliner. Let's not get kidnapped here really quick. Uh, it's going to be like one of those like VIP kind of planes that you see like movie stars and rock stars kind of step off of. And I was going to make like a, a giant sort of jumbo jet plane like that one over there. However, I, I wanted to make a smaller one first before I moved on to the bigger scale. So we're going to start that today, and uh, hopefully the server doesn't crash, and hopefully I don't get dragged away in some sort of monstrosity. So we'll see how that goes. But hey, really quickly before the video begins, we've already passed 20,000 subscribers. However, we are still moving forward. So hey, if you guys aren't subscribed yet, go below, hit that little red button. It helps me out, and it helps out the channel a whole bunch. All right, without further ado, let's hop into the build here. And uh, I don't think that this should actually be too hard. I say that right now, but uh, we haven't even started yet. I'm almost being ran over by a bulldozer, so well, we'll kind of see how that goes. Um, I may have to use folding for this one because I'm going to need a little bit more length on it, I would imagine. But we will see what happens. And that's why I wanted to make a smaller scale kind of passenger plane before I went bigger scale because I wanted to make sure I could get the folds right, everything was working correctly, and uh, nothing messes up. See, so yeah, I'm not really sure what kind of plane I'm actually making, like a specific model or anything in mind. I'm mostly just kind of running off of memory or what I think that uh, a passenger plane, like a VIP passenger plane should look like, and uh, we'll just kind of see what happens. That's, that's the only plan that I've got going here so far. But uh, we're going to start with the nose here and hopefully not screw it up as we make our way back. Okay, so just kind of trying to figure out how I'm going to get the nose done here. It was a little bit too sharp when I first did it, but I think this one looks a little bit better and just a little bit smoother overall. So I'm going to roll with this one. Also, there's a very lovely sign there, probably one of the best signs I've seen in a long time. And uh, honestly... I agree with everything it's saying. You should subscribe. But uh, then there's also this rusty... I don't even know what this is. It, it looks... Well, I don't, I don't know what... It's trying to destroy the subscribe sign. I have no idea. It's, it's just there. Also, again, like I usually have to say for most of these videos, if you see somebody trapped in it, in like a, a block or something, don't worry about it. It's just a feature. Just part of the build. That's just, that's just how it goes. Also, right now, I'm trying to figure out a way where I don't trap myself in the driver's seat. However, it's not looking too good so far. I may have to kind of see what happens with that. I, I don't really know. I might just end up trapped in the driver's seat whenever I go to drive this thing, but that is what it is. Okay, so we're just getting some more kind of curvature going on here. And this is actually starting to look kind of interesting. Like I said, I don't really have anything that I'm basing it off of. But I'm kind of liking the design that's coming out here. So hey, if you're in the comments, let me know what do you think it looks the most like so far. I don't know, because I don't know a whole lot about plane models, but I think it's looking pretty nice. And actually the good thing here is that I've got a lot of room to work with. So there'll be a lot of room I can actually put uh, rockets and stuff in to get this thing to move. So, so far things are looking actually pretty good for me. I just need to keep up the good work, which... Right now, I, I'm not too worried about it. I'm mostly just slapping down uh, long blocks. Alright, so here's how things are looking like right now. Um, looking really good, actually. And I've already kind of implanted my little chair turning system in there. You can, you can kind of see the motor in there. Uh, that's all ready to work with. Now, I just need to kind of figure out how I'm going to fit passengers in. Which I, I think I've pretty much got down, because if I just put passengers, like, right up uh, here, so if I put a passenger, like, right here, and then they'd also be here, so there'll be a little bit of space to walk through, it'll be kind of annoying for people trying to get in, but that is how it is, and uh, things are looking mighty fine so far, I might say. Although, one other thing I gotta figure out is how I'm going to have, uh, that door that like folds down with all the stairs not really sure about that one yet but we'll figure it out we, we haven't even got there yet now this is gonna sound kinda goofy but just trust me what if I so I delete this and I'm just gonna use some normal blocks we'll just put this like that and what if I take 
Um, wait, no, that's not gonna work. Hold on, what if I take a trail, and if I put, it's so hard to see, if I put a trail like this, okay. Now this is gonna be kind of weird, but just trust me, this could possibly work. Uh, I'm gonna go 90 degrees, and we're just gonna put in just some random letters, and then we'll copy this and paste it over, flip the letters around, cool. Okay, so if that is like that, and then I add my pilot seat, all right, and all that is like that, and then I cover this up with just some normal blocks, it's like it was never even there. Okay, let's try this out. Hopefully I have the motors facing the right way. So I press, oh, <laughs> I press, ah, there we go. Okay, so as you can see, I can kind of lean back and in a perfect world, I'd be able to get out. Um, I don't know if... It, hold on. <laughs> Let me just try to fix something really quick. So if I wanted to lean back and I go like this... Lean. There we go. It leans back. Perfect. And then, theoretically, I should be able to hop out no problem. If I were, you know, upright. I think that could work. I think that'd be a really cool idea. And then when I flip it back up... I sit back up like that, and we're good to go. That is actually really cool. Okay, so we've got our seat situation situation fixed up, and uh, we can keep going here. Also, shout out to this Coca-Cola truck. That is really, really, really nice. Like, I really like that. The Santa hat looks amazing, too. That's some good motor locking. That's some really cool stuff. Also, another thing I've got to figure out before I really start moving on to anything else is I've got to figure out how I'm going to attach a, like, uh, a ramp or, like, a stair thing to get in. Um, not too sure on how I want to do this. I I've got an idea of how I could, but it's not going to look too great. So, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. I'm not going to promise anything too amazing for this part because, again, I just did not have a whole lot planned for this. Okay. The way that this thing is looking, it's definitely going to need a fold, and I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do that just yet. So that's going to be fun to figure out. Um, this is what we got so far. I've been doing a little bit of touching up on the interior. I was kind of messing around with the uh, Half Wedge 2 or whatever it's called. It, it looks a little bit better for the windows and for the ceiling because there's more room to obviously move around. So that's kind of nice, but... Uh, Still trying to figure things out here. Don't really know how I'm going to make this door work just yet. But we're getting somewhere, and that is the most important thing. You want me to make a what? No, no, people are not going to be my bombs. Okay, I believe I've got both of the wings on. Um, again... Not really sure if that's what I wanted to go for, this kind of wing design that we've got going here. But it's what I've got right now, so it's what I'm going to work with. Um, again, still kind of trying to figure things out as I'm going along here. It's looking pretty good. Uh, not a huge fan of the wings. There's got to be something that I can do to maybe touch them up a little bit more. I might have to like motor lock some blocks onto it just to give it some more thickness. But uh, yeah, what we got so far ain't too bad. It ain't half bad. So here, here's my thought process that I need to figure out still. The tail, still gotta do that. That's probably one of the most important things that needs to be done so far. The wings, I need to figure out a way to make them look a little bit better than they do right now. I'm thinking if I motor lock them, just make them look a little bit thicker, they might look a little bit better. But uh, we will see. Want to skydive, Memium? Go right ahead. There you go, buddy. <laughs> There he goes, off into the void, I guess. Alright, so this is what I was thinking for the wings to make it look a little bit thicker, a bit more presentable. Uh, is we're just going to motor lock some half blocks onto it, and that just give it a little bit more width to it so it doesn't look as flimsy. I don't know if it's going to work out great, and i got to figure out how I'm going to place all the blocks. But it, it should be fine, I would imagine. Hey, there we go. Okay, with a little bit of help from Memium, we have attached both the top and the underside of the wing. So now it's actually got some thickness to it, it looks much better, and it actually looks like a solid plane wing, which could actually support this plane. So, now i got to do that on the other side, 
And then I think I'm going to call it an episode there because I've been at this for around two hours and, uh, well, it, 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 we're, it, 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 we're getting there, okay? It's t it takes some time. We're, we're getting there. Yeah, the best part about making these kinds of things is that when you do it on one side, the other side is super easy and it doesn't even take near as long as the first side did. Alright, that should be both the wings. Let's see if this works. I don't think it should break. Please work. Hey, there we go. Okay, it does work. And it actually looks really nice. That is cool. Okay, let's just uh, lean back in my chair here, open up the door, and let's go get a better inspection. Yeah! Uh, other than the fact that it just got launched off the cliff, it's looking pretty good. Also, I have not the slightest idea as to what is going on here, but Disco Party, I am always down for. But like I said, I think I'm going to save the rest of it, the tail, the wheels, actually getting it to move uh, for the next video. What I've got done so far, I am super, super, super proud of, and uh, I think it turned out pretty good so far. We obviously, we got a lot of moving parts going on here. We got my chair, which actually leans back. We got the door that actually works. We got thick wings that took us a while to make. And uh, just overall, like the actual design came together really nice. So I am very, very happy with it so far. And actually one final thing I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna add some paint to it because I like adding paint to things. And I wanna give this thing a little bit more color to it than just white. Alright guys, so there we go, I gave it a little tiny little bit of a paint job, obviously when I actually complete it, it's gonna get a huge paint job, I'm thinking of like maybe having like black instead of white, and maybe like, uh, I might go with orange, okay, I might do my channel col colors again. What just happened? What? I don't know what just happened, but it did. Okay then. But yeah, like I was saying, uh, I I'm going to be doing the rest of this in another episode. I am unfortunately hit my time limit, but it so far it's looking really good. And uh, hey, I might even make this week a plain crazy week and make the next episode just working on this so I can get it out as fast as possible. Because I've been having a lot of fun building this thing. And I've got to try a bunch of different little techniques, like especially with the door here and uh, with my seat and just working on the wings and all that stuff. I've learned quite a bit, so yeah. I might make it the next episode and uh, finish off the tail, the wheels, and actually getting it to move. But for now, this is my passenger plane, and uh, I think it looks pretty darn good. But other than that, guys, that's really all I've got for this video. So hey, if you guys like this video, feel free to give it a like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, guys, it's Dragon Platinum, signing out. Peace out, guys. Bye!